Reading a book. What you doing? Reading a book. Mm-hmm. Mm, that sounds like fun. I got something better. What? Wanna go to the park? Sure. I'll meet you there in about an hour, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. She actually had been showing signs of another cold for the past three days and I just got it from her and it's probably because I had to sleep in the bed with her a couple of times since my dad has been here and I'm thinking that that's how I got it from her I was gonna go live this Friday but because I've been feeling under the weather not to mention just extremely tired i have not been able to get any sleep since my dad has been here because i gave my bed to him and then trying to sleep with yay yay she sleeps wild so i have not had any sleep to the point where i was so tired i had to go over cheek cheek's house just to get some sleep so i did that for two days and now i just feel awful again because last night I didn't sleep good because for one I don't feel good too. I was trying to sleep on the sofa which is very uncomfortable. I don't like sleeping on the sofa and I can never get comfortable with sleeping on the sofa so needless to say I probably got maybe three hours of sleep and it was just like cat naps here and there me not feeling good and just being extremely tired I figured I'll just wait a week since I know that I'll be getting my bed back tomorrow thank you Jesus I can sleep in my bed and I'll I'll be back to you know just trying to get myself together but I know even with my vlogging I haven't been putting up any vlogs or anything like that either because with my dad being here and that being an unexpected visit, we just been talking and talking and talking and it's been a lot of late nights, you guys, just talking and catching up and, you know, taking care of Gay and school and all that stuff. However, she doesn't have school today, that's why she's with me. It's voting and y'all know they use the schools for the polls, so they're off today which I didn't know that they were off and I didn't grasp what Cheek Cheeks was saying to me about the schools to find out if she didn't have school or not but I had text her teacher and she told me that they didn't have school and then she gave me the other days that she don't have school in November she told me to call up to the school and have them add me to the all call list so that way when there isn't any school they'll text my phone and I'll know that she doesn't have school so I'm gonna go up there and see if they can add me so that way I don't have to keep texting her teacher cuz when I text her y'all it's late in the evening and I don't mean to be disrespectful but I can't take what a seven-year-old is saying when she comes home and say that she doesn't have school and I don't have no proof of that so I have to reach out to the teacher but anyhow y'all we on our way to spectrum y'all remember I had that whole ordeal with spectrum just last week and 
when I called up there, like the girl told me at Spectrum to request for a supervisor so they can pull that phone call. They were gonna get me over to a supervisor, but they felt like if I can handle the situation, do you still wanna speak to a supervisor? And I'm like, well, if you can handle the situation to where I don't have no bill because I ended up sending y'all's equipment back and I have the receipt for sending the equipment back and that there won't be a bill. I said, I'm good. Pulled up the bill and he was like, I don't understand. He said, based off of what you said you wanted, he said, I don't understand where this bill came from. He said, she was giving you stuff that you didn't even ask for. And I said, exactly. That's why I didn't want the cable services. So he went back over the contract, the original contract that I was asking about and he fixed it. So now I have cable and I have internet service for $70 a month. That was what I was basically trying to get for the 12 months. And he told me after the 12 months, he said, you can always call in and see if we're running another type of promotion to keep you where you're at. He said, so you can always do that after the 12 months. So trust and believe me, when these 12 months is up with Spectrum, I'm definitely gonna be calling them to find out what specials they have because I know their internet service can be extremely high. I did go back with Spectrum, so that's why I'm on my way up there to pick up my modem now because I do need that for my laptop computer from for my homework. So I definitely need that. I want to get that right away. And then I'm going to head over to Cheek Cheek's house because he's supposed to be putting it together for me, but I'm not for sure what time today he's going to put it together for me. I just want him to do it so that, you know, everything is just taken care of. We're also supposed to be going out to dinner with my dad because this is his last night with us and then he flies back to Alabama tomorrow morning. So whenever he comes to town, the last day, we always just go out and have dinner together. So I'm gonna see if Cheek Cheeks wanna go since he didn't have to work today either because of the voting. But other than that, y'all, we really ain't got much going on. I'm gonna try to spend some time with my dad, but I just, I just been extremely exhausted you guys don't understand you know working a full-time job working my little side hustles taking care of a seven-year-old and then you got an unexpected guest that you have to entertain and you didn't really plan for it and I definitely didn't plan for a whole entire week to have my dad but I don't know if he normally stays a week when he come y'all it's been so long because the last time I see my dad was literally four years ago and I don't know if when he came up here then if he stayed for seven days or if it was close to seven days but anyhow I'm just I'm glad to just be getting my bed back I, I love my dad I love it when he comes up here to visit me but it's just this has been a lot for me this week a lot has a lot has gone on a lot y'all I just have to catch up and get y'all caught up but a lot of things have just been going on and I'm I'm just like I need I need my space back I need my space <laughs> so I can get my life back in order but anyhow I will catch up with you guys in a little bit because like I said once I get done up here at Spectrum getting my modem I'm going to go over to Cheek Cheek's house and take a nap literally get in bed take a nap Yay Yay's bag packed with stuff so she can have stuff to do but I'm just I'm exhausted and I I need to get some sleep I haven't had any and I just need a couple hours of sleep so I can get my life straight and say hey yay why you just sitting in the back say hey to the fam I don't know if y'all can see her or not Cause the sun is shining bright and I can hardly see her through this camera lens. So how have you enjoyed my dad spending time with you since he's been here? Good. good. Everything is good with her. Everything good with her. But yeah, he's he's been keeping her entertained. Uh, she's been riding her scooter and doing chalky. So whenever he go outside and take a smoke break, she go outside with him. And he'll go up the street with her while she ride her scooter. And then she'll do some chalky wherever she can in the driveway. Because his car is blocking part of the driveway. But, yep, that's about it.
Oh yeah, you know they gonna have the the TVs on in the airports. I was in stuff, yeah. Oh. Alrighty. Alrighty, Miss Ma'am. I thought oh. he was gonna ride you. Uh-uh, I'm getting a Curtis on the Nope. Not today. I'm not gonna get no bugs on me. That's what you put in here. Oh. Well, you guys, it's bittersweet that my dad is leaving. We always do dinner the night before. That's our tradition when he comes in town. And in the morning he gets up and goes to the airport. But I did think he was gonna go to the school with me to drop Ye off because I asked him last night if he wanted to ride with me since he wasn't going to see her after school or she wasn't going to see him so he said yeah he would get up with us but I guess he decided he going to go ahead and go to the airport now and just kind of hang out a little bit but I think he might go see my Aunt Joyce before he leaves because he didn't see her over the last couple of days and he still got plenty of time it's only like 7 40 doesn't have to be on the plane until I believe 1045 is when his flight takes off. So, yeah. I'm going to miss my dad, but he's supposed to be coming back up, and I think it's going to be real soon because they have some other matters that they have to take care of with another family member. And so he's going to be bringing his wife with them, and I don't know how long they're going to be here because the way he make it sound, they got a lot of stuff to do. And it may take a couple weeks. So y'all will see my dad again very soon. You gonna miss my dad, yay? Mm -hmm. I know, you like him, don't you? Yeah, he a likable type of person. Everybody likes honey. So what's today, what's today? What day of the week is it? Oh, you was just saying what it was yesterday. Oh. Wednesday. Yeah, today is Wednesday. What's the weather look like? Sunny and cold. You got it. Sunny and cold. But it's supposed to be um, sunny today. Yep, it's going to be sunny all day today. Yay. And it's going to be warm today. I'm just hoping that over the next couple of days I can start feeling better but I didn't sleep good again last night you guys I was all over the place like one minute I was on the couch then the next minute I was on the floor Ooh. then the next minute I was back on the couch so I am going to bed early tonight <clears throat> yeah it goes to bed at nine o'clock I'm going to bed at nine o'clock as well because I am tired and my body needs the rest and I really do feel like once my body gets some rest I think I can start feeling a lot better because normally whenever I take medicine it only takes me a couple of days and then I start shaking out of it but it's just a lack of sleep huh laugh about what No, I said I was on the floor. I didn't fall. I was trying to sleep on the floor. <laughs> Bless me. But yeah, I was trying to sleep on the floor. And I just, when you got scoliosis and your spine is, is kind of curved, it that don't feel good. And I was on the floor for about two hours. And I said, forget this mess. Do you have to the doctor? Sometimes when it hurts. It's not stuffed up right now. My nose is sore as if I've been blowing it. But only thing I've really been doing is just kind of like blotting my nose and wiping it. But it's almost like the skin that came off 
around my nose and it hurts. But I'll be all right. I'm a big girl. I'll be all right. But anyhow, you guys, I'll catch up with y'all later. I'm looking like a hot mess. I need to do something with my hair. I'm not feeling myself no more. I don't know if it's because I'm sick, but I need a new look because I'm not, I'm not feeling cute. What is up, you guys? I am on my way to Hobby Lobby to get my mesh for my Christmas tree. I'm getting in the Christmas spirit, but at the same time, I'm kind of not because y'all remember last year, the bottom part of my lights had blew out. And I asked Babe if he could see if he could fix my lights for me. And if not, I'm just gonna have to try to string some lights in where there is no lights and see if that will help. But I'm hoping that he'll be able to just switch the bulb and then that'll fix my problem. Cause I'm really still, I'm not gonna be happy with the fact that I have a pre-lit tree, but I have some temporary lights that strung in them because they blew out. I know it has to be a way that it can be fixed, but I just don't know how to fix it. And I've already tried to YouTube it when it happened last year, but I didn't have any success with that. I'm still a little sick, but I'm feeling a little bit better. I was supposed to go in the office yesterday, but I told my boss that I just, I wasn't feeling well, and I didn't know if I had the flu or if it's just a really bad cold, but I honestly just didn't have the strength to put on no clothes and try to make myself look halfway decent. Today, I at least try, but you know when you sick, there's just no way of really making yourself look good because when you sick you don't feel good and to me you honestly don't even look good I look in the mirror and I just see sickness all over my face and I just see like you're still sick you need to get better but I'm gonna run over here to Hobby Lobby like I said and see if I can find me some mesh I also have this lantern that Cheek Cheek sister had got me this summer off of QVC and I want to see if I can find something because I know where I want to put it but I want to see if I can find like some reindeer or something like that to go with it some white reindeer hopefully I can find some white pieces for that lantern because I really really do like it and I gotta get some batteries as well because instead of take three C batteries and I'm so glad I opened it up because I know I would have got ready to put it out and would have been ticked off because the batteries are not in it. But anyhow, you guys, I will see y'all once I get to Hobby Lobby. This is gonna be probably an in and out trip for me. I'm not trying to stay too long. I gotta run over Chi Chi's house after I get done and also pick up Ye Ye because I'm not at home. So I gotta call my auntie and let her know that I'll pick her up. And that way they don't have to worry about bringing her home tonight. But yeah, I'll see y'all in a minute, fam.
picked up at Walmart and Hobby Lobby. But one of the things that I really, really liked, and y'all saw that they were having a 60% off sale. Man, the most you get at Hobby Lobby around the holidays is 40% off. So the fact that they had everything 60% off, I was super soaked. I ended up getting this church, church house for $24 can't beat it I didn't show y'all this but this is what it looks like and I'm gonna stick that next to my um shoot I can't even remember now I'm having a brain fart but yeah that's what it looks like now I'm getting in the mood and I'm ready to start decorating so I think I'm going to look and see what my schedule looks like next week. And I'm going to start cleaning out stuff. The carpet cleaning guy can't come until December the 3rd. I did have to reschedule because I thought my new work schedule was going to start on the 6th. But they said it wasn't enough people that volunteered to start their new shift early. So everybody's just starting on December the 4th. And I won't be able to get my carpet clean until Saturday, December the 3rd. But that ain't going to stop me from putting up my Christmas tree, y'all. Because y'all know the tree is going up before December. And that's going to be it for this video, y'all. I'm about to go pick up Yay. And I will see y'all on another video real soon. Bye, fam.